Pat Morda, better known as the first Mr. Miyagi, reprised the iconic martial artist turned paternal figure role in the original series of the Karate Kid franchise. While there were subsequent adaptations of Robert Kamen's franchise, no one came close to the legacy Morda had left behind. In 2005, the actor passed away at the age of 73. Ralph Macchio and William Zabka, however, believe that the actor's legacy lives on in the new series. Let's talk about that. Starting with, what did Macchio and Zabka have to say? The 2018 martial arts comedy drama series Cobra Kai picks up where the original Karate Kid franchise left off, 34 years after the events of the first film. William Zabka reprises his role as Johnny Lawrence and reopens the Cobra Kai Karate Dojo. He also rekindles his old rivalry with Daniel LaRusso, whose role was reprised by the original Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio. The series was released on YouTube Red and later made its way onto Netflix. Cobra Kai has received critical acclaim. The show's been nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series, and we're still salty it didn't win. Cobra Kai has been instrumental in bringing two generations of martial arts and comedy fans together. Many of the franchise's original actors reprised their roles in the series, including Elizabeth Shue, Tamlin Tomita, Robin Lively, and Thomas Ian Griffith. Basically, the Miyagi-verse came back with a bang, all except, of course, Mr. Miyagi himself. In 2005, Pat Morita passed away following complications from kidney failure and urinary tract infections. The actor was 73 years old. Mr. Miyagi's death has been a storyline in Cobra Kai, which was fair play by the writers. We wouldn't have accepted anyone else in the iconic role besides Morita. I think he would love it, said Makio. He's watching it from somewhere, added Zabka. Up next, what were some of the ways Cobra Kai honored Mr. Miyagi? While the characters in Cobra Kai are from the Miyagi-verse, the character of Mr. Miyagi himself is remembered only in flashback in the series. However, Daniel and Johnny often recount the legendary martial artist's teachings, techniques, and a few oddities. For example, in Season 4, Daniel and Johnny decide to put their differences aside to face down John Kreese and Terry Silver. The two agree to mirror each other and let one another lead in their training sessions. When it's Daniel's turn to teach, Johnny comments on the usefulness of having them do chores instead of training. Fans of the original series probably knew where Daniel was going with this. In a swift motion, the Karate Kid slices Johnny's beer bottle in half. He then comments on the fact that training doesn't have to be flashy to be effective. The whole idea of doing chores to train yourself to be more patient and resilient was something Daniel had picked up from Mr. Miyagi's handbook. Similarly, the second and third episodes were titled First Stand and Then Fly, respectively. This was an ode to Miyagi's lesson on patience and perseverance. First Stand, Then Fly. Episode 2 shows the students at Miyagi-Do honing basic skills, and Episode 3 shows them advancing toward individual abilities and techniques. Not to mention, what makes Mr. Miyagi's absence so emotional? It was hard for fans to say goodbye to Pat Morita. It was harder for the original franchise's actors to continue a show without him. Cobra Kai might not have Mr. Miyagi, but his presence has been interwoven into the script. Daniel isn't the only one keeping his memory alive, but everyone in the show recounts their interactions with the legendary martial artist, even Johnny. It's a blessing that this thing has been kissed with such great luck and positive impact, Makio said. So I think, you know, we feel his presence on the set all the time. Too bad he's not with us for many reasons, Zabka said. But for the show, he would have just been amazing because he was so funny and dramatic and everything Miyagi was. Did you know that Morda started his career as a comedian before transitioning to the role of the somewhat odd but mostly stern Mr. Miyagi? That's right, the series creator Robert Kamen was initially apprehensive of Morda's acting abilities. He wanted someone with prior experience in more serious roles to play the fictional character. But Morda managed to win him over. In fact, he won all of us over. Another interesting fact about the OG Mr. Miyagi was that he auditioned for the role five times before Kamen called him himself to offer the role. Oh, and Morda had no prior experience with martial arts. The actor learned how to reprise a stern role and how to perform an intricate skill all within a year ahead of the 1984 release, The Karate Kid. It would have been something else to have had him on Cobra Kai. Coming next, could Chosen Toguchi be the next Mr. Miyagi? We'd like to preface this next segment by saying there'll never be another Mr. Miyagi. But it seems like a character from Cobra Kai might just be coming close to filling in the iconic character's shoes. Chosen Taguchi, played by Yuji Okamoto, reprises his role in the YouTube Red series. Taguchi was born and raised in Okinawa, Japan. He was trained by Uncle Sato, who was Mr. Miyagi's best friend growing up. Sato and Miyagi were both trained by Mr. Miyagi's father, 
Chosen, had similar skills to Mr. Miyagi. However, he ventured towards the dark side and for much of the original series was characterized as a villain. Chosen was introduced in The Karate Kid Part 2 when Mr. Miyagi was traveling back to Okinawa to visit his dying father. The character's long-standing feud against his former best friend Sato caused strife on his return. Sato, in turn, used his nephew as an enforcer to antagonize Miyagi and LaRusso until they agreed to a duel. LaRusso won the duel and Chosen was humbled. He left in shame. That was Chosen's last appearance in the series until Season 3 of Cobra Kai when Daniel visits Okinawa once again, this time as an adult. The character has turned his life around and kept the Miyagi Dojo alive and thriving. Daniel learns a new technique that helps him defeat Kreese at the end of Cobra Kai Season 3, showing that he's continued to learn Miyagi-Do karate through Chosen. Finishing this segment with what can we expect in Season 5. Season 4 of the critically acclaimed series had a 92% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Interestingly, the show was renewed for a fifth season while the fourth season was still in production. Cobra Kai has made waves, which is surprising considering how reboots aren't usually well received by audiences. But the martial arts comedy drama made its impact and it's received raving reviews. Season 4 was particularly thrilling. Morning, spoilers ahead. Johnny Sensei, Sensei Kreese, makes an appearance in Season 2. Fans of the original franchise might remember him as the show's leading antagonist alongside the blonde bully himself. And while Cobra Kai explored Johnny's redemption arc, Sensei Kreese was largely considered the show's antagonist. That was until the real villain revealed himself. Who was it? Terry Silver. Johnny's on a quest to find Miguel, who in turn is on a quest to find his father. Daniel has to fight off Silver on his own, but since Chosen's made a 180, fans believe the former bad guy will probably help LaRusso take down Silver. Safe to say, Season 5 will be Cobra Kai's most thrilling season yet. Now for other news. First up, when will Season 5 be released? Students of Miyagi-Do, Eagle Fang, or Cobra Kai, we are all a part of the Karate Kid universe. Season 5 of Cobra Kai was released just yesterday. The new season picks up with Chosen and Daniel working together to take down Silver, plus Miguel's quest to track down his father and Johnny's quest to track down Miguel. There's a lot going on. Season 5 has 12 starring roles, 11 of whom are recurring stars. Dallas Dupree Young was promoted to the main cast after recurring in the previous season, and Johnny DiCenzo was demoted to a recurring cast member, being credited as a special guest star. Moving on, do you remember that episode from How I Met Your Mother? Fans were thrilled when YouTube Red announced a Karate Kid reboot. They were elevated when they found out that Makio and Zabka would be reprising their original characters. But the duo had been hinting at a possible reboot years before it actually happened. Huh? Do you remember an episode from How I Met Your Mother where Barney commented on the fact that Johnny was the real hero of the franchise? Yeah, and then the party wiped off his makeup and it turned out to be Zabka. The cast of HIMYM sat down ahead of the show's 20th year and discussed a few of their favorite episodes. The bro mitzvah was on everyone's list. Lastly, did you know the characters are based on actual people? The coming of age movie won hearts everywhere with its moving storyline, relatable characters, and its amazing cinematography. But did you know that LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi's characters were based on real people? Jerry Weintraub, the franchise's producer, saw a news report on television featuring a young boy who's been bullied all throughout middle school. The OG Karate Kid took martial art lessons over the summer. Once news spread that he had a black belt in karate, the bullying stopped. Mr. Miyagi's character was based on legendary teacher and practitioner Meitoki Yagi. Meitoki Yagi himself studied under an Okinawan master named Chojun Miyagi, who founded the Gochuryu School of Karate that serves as the basis for Mr. Miyagi's own style. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. Who was your favorite character in The Karate Kid? Let us know down below.